Hello YouTubers. Um, this video is pretty much about my Harry Potter room that I've been creating. Um, I've still got quite a bit to do, but I thought I'd show you guys what I've done so far. Um, maybe you can give me some suggestions what I can do, give you some ideas, and uh, yeah, that would be great. So uh, here's the tour of my room. Right, so I'll start with this one. This is my sort of bedside cabinet. Um, it's my Harry Potter desk, as I call it. So I've got the snitch there. Bought that online. That was pretty cheap. Um, I quite like that, actually. It's quite cute. Got a little stand there. And then the owl lamp. I bought quite cheap as well. I do want to buy an owl cage and maybe put it sort of on the wall or something. I don't know. But, yeah, like I said, it's, everything's temporary at the moment until I figure out what I'm going to do with things. Um, got a picture of Snape, the legend Snape, obviously. I'm going for the sort of Slytherin theme bedroom, so it made sense to have him. And he's also my favourite character uh, in the books and in the film. So, yeah. And he's got my necklace there, Horcrux. Got the um, book covers. There's loads of tutorials online how to do them. This is the most common one I've seen, the advanced potion making. Um, it's pretty much just printing off the cover and gluing on some old books, really. Uh, I made my own. My one is Beginner's Guide to Hogwarts. I figured every student needs one of them. So I decided to make my own and uh, put them there. I've got my little Harry Potter guy. There's about 15 of them to collect. I've got quite a lot to do. Um, so like I said, my room's not finished yet. But, yeah, he's the only one i got so far. And obviously the platform three-quarters ticket. Again, I might end up sort of laminating that, framing it. I don't know yet. I'm not sure what I'm doing. So that's my little desk. I've got the obviously flying keys. Um, every Harry Potter room needs flying keys. I go up close to it. You can probably see sort of what I've done. Just glued the wings. There we are. Bought some vintage keys on uh, eBay. Then printed off the wings and just glued them on. It's quite quite simple to make. Um, and I've got my other desk then. This is the emblems. I'm planning to sort of sew them on to this throw and make a Harry Potter throw. Um, I know you can buy them online, but they're about hundred pounds. And I really don't fancy paying £100. So I figured I'd make my own and just sew them on. So. And then I've got my Hogwarts train. Pretty good buy, actually. I paid about £6 a line when normally they're about £60. But I managed to find this one. Um, and I love it. I think it's brilliant. So I've obviously put that in the room. And then I've just got um, Voldemort's wand. It's not the proper big size, it's a little small one, but it was quite cheap with a snake around it. Thought it was pretty cool. And then I've got these posters here, which I made myself. I printed them on A3 paper, um, used a tea bag to put them over and make it look old and worn out, and then just hang them up. Saved myself some money by doing it myself. Got the quote by the switch. Which is one of my favourite quotes. And I've obviously got that one on the door frame. And the last thing I've got in my room is pretty cool. I quite like this actually. It's a um, personalised photo with my name on it, Beth and Davis. Which, again, I bought that on mine. Pretty cheap. Along with my Mystery of Magic badge. <laughs> obviously. So it's pretty cool. So yeah, so that's... Um, that's my room so far. Uh, again, I haven't finished. I've got so much more to do. But that's what I've got up to so far. I'll end up doing another video, um, hopefully, of, of the updated things I've got and done. If you've got any suggestions or questions, please comment and I will answer them pretty quickly. Cheers.